Hello, I'm Warren Fay, folklorist and performer. Now, uh, 2005 celebrates the centenary of one of the major books in Australia's tradition. It's a book called Old Bush Songs. It was put together by Banjo Patterson, the great Australian poet. Patterson started work on this book in 1895, the same year that he wrote Walsing Matilda, and also the same year that he had published his first work, which was The Man from Snowy River and other verses. What Patterson did, and it's very important, he realised that around the turn of that century, when Australia was about to celebrate Federation in 1901, the world had changed. For the first time ever, the population base in Australia, which had always been predominantly in the bush, there had been rural workers, within a space of 10 years were moving over and living in the cities and the coasts. So the population just shifted because that's where the work was, in the factories. So Patterson realised that the old shearing, droving, bush ranging, gold digging songs were going to disappear. City folks, they didn't have much time for these songs. So he started to write to newspapers. He used the pages of the Bulletin magazine, which was founded in 1880, to um, solicit people to send him in any songs that they remembered. He also went through some of the early newspapers where he found some of these songs. So, in 1905, he published about 75 songs. This year, we have put out Old Bush Songs. This is a blatant commercial here. Uh, but this is a book that has traced the history of the Bush song and also the songs that were collected by Patterson and we've added new songs. Patterson, for example, didn't put in any convict songs. One suspects that he was uh, conscious of what they used to refer to as the convict stain, that anybody that had a um, convict in the family was, shh, you keep quiet about it. He also um, didn't put in any songs about the Kelly gang. And when one realises that the Kellys were in operation you know, around 1880, it wasn't that far removed from the time that uh, Patterson was putting this collection together, and it was also a very sensitive issue. So he decided not to put them in. Um, in our Graham Seal and My collection and uh, centenary edition, we've traced Australia through from convict period and transportation through to the gold rush, through to colonial expansion, through to the end of the century when uh, there were so many uh, great strikes in the shearing industry that uh, defined so much of what we think today, including the establishment of the Australian Labour Party. Um, the songs, what is a bush song, you well may ask? Well, I guess the simplest explanation is that these were songs written primarily by that great and prolific writer Anon and uh, circulated amongst the bush workers. It was a very male-dominated society. They on many occasions had to spend nights around the campfire or if they were working on the shearing sheds, they, the men were in the, the men's huts and uh, they sang as an entertainment. The drovers quite often sang to their cattle to calm them and to prevent any stampede of their beasts. So they would sing the wild colonial boy or maybe they'd play a mouth organ or a tin whistle. So the songs are basically story songs that have been knocked around the bush. Um, a typical song would be, and many of them were sung unaccompanied, uh, a typical one would be a song like this one. I'm one of the has-beens, a shearer I mean. I once was the ringer, and I used to shear clean. I could make the wool roll off like the soil from the plough but you may not believe me cause i can't do it now i'm as awkward as a new chum and i'm used to the frown that the bossy often shows you saying keep them blades down 
Well, I've shone with Jack Hogan, Bill Bright and Jack Dunn, Charlie Fergus, Tommy Layton and the great Roar and Gun. They bought from the Lachlan the best they could find, but there wasn't a shearer could leave me behind, for I'm as awkward as a new chum, and I'm used to the frown that the boss he often shows you, saying keep them blades down. Well, it's no use complaining, I'll never say die. Though the days of hard shearing for me they've gone by, I'll take the wool nice and easy, shear slowly but clean, and I have just told you what I have been.